Okay, welcome to my space. Uh, organized chaos, you could say. Okay, so hi, I'm Lou. I kind of go by Lou Rose as my artist name. And uh, I'm from Toronto, like born and raised. I've lived here most of my life. I only thought that you could create artwork in a way that was like realistic and super pretty. And I never knew about the whole abstract kind of expression, you know, that different kind of side of creativity. And uh, it took me a really long time to find that part of myself. It wasn't like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be an artist. It was just like, I need to do this. And I, and I have this like innate, just my body was so, is so drawn towards it that it's just, it's, it's pretty crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go sew it now. Did you wanna do more uh, shots here? I'm really liking these white ones. Oh, they're coming out. I'm like sewing it together and then I'm drawing on it a little bit with the machine. And then I'm gonna put, put them all together with the, uh, the yellow ones as well. And then stretch that over, over a canvas type thing. So yeah, I'll probably put that one in. I love this yellow though, it's so vibrant. I also just like to see where the machine takes me because it's like it, it's, 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 not, it's like it has its own mind, you know, it'll catch a material in a certain way and, and you'll start sewing in a different direction or it'll scrunch it in a certain way, which I think is really, I like to think it has a mind of its own.
Yay. Yeah, it's kind of hard because I don't like, I don't pin anything, but I kind of enjoy not having it not pinned because then if something happens, you just have to kind of work with it. Be like, oh, okay, you know, I messed that piece up, but now I just have to figure out how to change it and make it the way I want it. So it's kind of fun. Should have more space to kind of. Okay, I think I'm gonna bring this into the other space to kind of just figure out how everything's looking. Okay. Oh, this is so much better. I grew up in a kind of a very academic household and I was in sciences and math and I thought I was going to become a scientist. That's what my sister and I thought. But at the same time, we we're also very into music. So we've always been slash had a massive love for music. Like I played the piano since I was a kid and the guitar and I write a lot of music. So that's kind of just another little sideline. So that was kind of my first venture into a creative medium. I was at Concordia University for a year and I was just incredibly unhappy and I didn't know why and I didn't, you know, I wasn't really enjoying my environment. I, I didn't really, I wasn't feeling like I was clicking with other people just because I wasn't enjoying what I was studying and I felt like I was just missing something kind of in my life. So I basically kind of went through a very dark period um, that really I had started to realize had been spanning since I was a kid, just from not knowing that I needed to express, I, ha I needed like this field to express myself and I would just bottle it all up and kind of go a little bit manic and I guess. So I came back and I was just living back with my parents and I kind of just didn't know what I was doing. I just started to kind of just experiment with things because I didn't have anything to do. And one day I kind of j went to Madoko and I bought a wooden canvas and I just made this piece. And I'd never really painted except for, you know, in a grade eight class, I, d I never painted. And uh, it was really interesting because it looked like a kind of a person screaming when I looked, when I look back at it. And I think that's just how I was feeling in that moment, just so feeling the need to just like let go and just, I had so much built up from years and years and years of just not expressing myself. Yes, I was doing it in music, but it just wasn't, it wasn't enough kind of for that. So yeah, and from there I just started painting.
uh, in this corner, I do a lot of painting because it's plaster. So I can just nail things into the wall really easily uh, and like use staples and stuff. So like over here, I have a bunch of canvas pieces that I'm gonna cut up just kind of, ah, it's already falling. Uh, kind of just tacked into the wall, kind of in preparation to, to further the process. Um, and more paint cans. Oh, this is like my absolute all time favorite uh, oil pastel thingy to use. They're um, livestock markers. So it's sad, it's a sad origin, but really good for art. Um, yeah, so more paint is over here. I love mistinted paints because I go through so much paint. And so I, it makes no sense for me to buy like baby acrylic pieces. So I just go for the biggest cans I can possibly find. And it's really fun. Uh, yeah, so this is another piece here that I'm working on that all these pieces are gonna be sewn together. And then I'm gonna wrap it on this canvas. I'm gonna take this webbing thingy off. And so, and this is kind of fun because I've ne it's a, a new idea that I have that I've never really done. So I'm kind of excited about it. Um, and these are all just, this is thread that I've gone and just like gone round and round and round in circles on the sewing machine, uh, which is really fun. And uh, yeah, this piece here is a bunch of tiles that I found on the side of the street and I've tiled them to this big board and just experimented with the kind of the grout material and the when you when you tile stuff you have this kind of tool and it leaves these marks and I really love these marks that it's made so I've kind of thought of that as a kind of a new way of creating texture which is super fun yeah and then back here's more storage these are some pieces that are finished slash working on I have a couple pieces that uh, are meant to be on the body so this is a bunch of tape that was on a piece and then I took it off when I was finished with the piece because I didn't think the piece need I didn't it didn't work with the piece and I wasn't happy so I took it and then I just like stuck it on my body and I just, and then I was like oh that's so fun so I started taking off different parts of it and then placing it on my body in different ways and created this kind of body sculpture out of these materials. And uh, I think it's great. It's just, I can just stick it on the wall and put it on whenever I feel like it. And uh, it's great. And uh, yeah, so this is just more, more stuff. This is, a, I have a piece that I cut out, like a big wooden piece that I use like a jigsaw with. That was really fun, really difficult to do. I broke a couple of jigsaw blades but that's another story. <laughs> uh, yeah, some spray paint. I love to do spray paint. It's not the greatest place to do it here because it's very, uh, I have no, what's the word? Vent yeah, no ventilation. So it's like really bad to do it in here, but in the summer and the spring when it's nice out, I can bring the stuff outside and do it out there. And it's really, it's great. And uh, yeah, I've, I used to have a bunch of tables in here and then until I realized I never use tables. I love it when stuff's on the ground. And so I'm slowly gonna be getting rid of all of this so I can just have everything on the ground so I can just visually see it and then just pick it up uh, and kind of work that way. And uh, yeah, so this is my space. <laughs>
behind you. I'm working on this like plaster piece and filling in these pieces of plaster. And that was a very conscious decision of wanting to create a piece and fill in these like different gaps with this plaster. And then as I was doing that, I just walked over to this other piece and started cutting it up. And it wasn't, it just started happening. And then from there, I just took it and then I just walked over to the sewing machine and I was gonna make it into an outfit. But as I was doing that, I started cutting it up again. And then I started sewing all these cut up pieces and then I was like drawing with the sewing machine. So it was just, it's very much just, I really listen to where my body kind of takes me and my like subconscious. And I really love kind of unintentional process. Uh, and I just let my body kind of free flow to this final product. And I think that's why I create a lot of very different kind of pieces in a way just because some days I'm more drawn to putting pieces on my body or I'm more drawn to uh, like painting with my body or I'm more into sitting down and like doing little tiny little sketches. It's just very much the, the feeling I get in the moment. I probably should wear a mask doing this, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm trying to just smoothen it out so it just it looks like it's one one uh, texture. This piece is just a bunch of little canvases and I'm basically attached them all together and then like putting and then making just one big canvas. So it's pretty fun. I'm so influenced by my surroundings and the materials that I see because I'm such a visual person. A color or paint, I love going to the hardware store and there's all these mist tint paints and I just think it's so like, oh, I just want to go and fl fl fling this paint all over, you know? So that would be probably one of my biggest inspirations. But also just being around other artists, being in the space that I am now, I can go and, I, you know, there's a jewelry man in the corner and he's doing a lot of welding and a lot of woodwork and all this amazing stuff. He's doing like 3D printing. There's potters upstairs. So like pottery, I think, is beautiful. And it's just being around, I think, just different types of mediums is so beautiful to me and I think that's such a big inspiration. You know, you don't have to be an artist from when you were a bebe, you know, you can just, you could be, it can happen whenever and it, you don't, you don't necessarily need to be good at it. You don't need to be able to draw these amazing pieces. You could just do it to just to do it and to make, to make, and yeah. I'm excited to, to see what happens in the future and see kind of where my artwork takes me because it's always going in all these different directions. So it's the future is just an endless amount of possibilities. <laughs>